everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 13B. Today we're going to finish up everything that we have in Unit 13. So we're going to start with triple meter. Do, da, de, do, and chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, da, de, do, da, de, do, da, de, do, da, de. I chant macro beats, you chant micro beats. Do, 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 do. I chant micro beats, you chant divisions. Do, da, de, do, da, de, do, da, de, do, da, de. I chant divisions, you chant a rhythm pattern. Do, da, 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 da. I chant a rhythm pattern. You chant macro beats. Do da di do da ta di ta do ta da di ta do. Someday we will come together again and we will all be able to be in the same room and do this together. In the meantime, we're doing the best we can. So swinging. I'm going to sing this song and I'd like for you to pretend that you're monkeys swinging from branch to branch in a tree. Let's go ahead and sing German folk song together. Think about the mirror, about the mirror dance. Think about the rhythm, the rhythm. Think about the meter. Third time's the charm. Think about the meter and go ahead and do a mirror dance with me. Go ahead and sing this song. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. We're going to do some rhythm patterns. Before we do, that was in triple meter. We're going to do some rhythm patterns. These are going to be tie patterns. We're continuing to work on some tie patterns in triple meter. Echo me, please. Do da di da di da di do. Do di da di da di do da di. Do to dee to do da di do da di. Do da di da ta dee to do da di da ta dee to. Do do da di do da di. Do da di do. Ta di ta do da di. Do do. Do da di do. Do ta da ta di ta. You're seeing, I think, where we start to have some overlap between tie patterns and elongations. So if you have something like do, do, you could safely say that that's an elongation or a tie. A tie is just another way to make an elongation, but it doesn't have to be an entire extra macro beat or an entire extra micro beat. It can shape shift a little bit. So let's go ahead and come to the keyboard. Our last video was long. I know it was long. There was a lot that we were trying to do, but I also 
wanted to make sure that in this video, we had plenty of time to do this. So on page 41 in unit 13, we are looking for our keyboard skills at minor triads. So several units ago, we played all of the major triads and we had them in four different categories. We had white, 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 black, white, black, white, black, and the oddballs. We have the same sort of thing for minor triads. So let's go ahead and read through this together and then we're gonna play all of them. There are 12 different piano keys, seven different white piano keys, and five different black piano keys. A minor triad can be played on every piano key. The minor triad sound is different when listened to in the context of tonality and chiality. For example, it will sound like la, do, mi, re, fa, la, or mi, so, ti, depending on what letter name is la or do. The keyboard feel of minor triads can be divided into four categories. White, 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 we have A minor, D minor, and E minor. White, black, white, we have C minor, F minor, and G minor. Black, white, black, we have A flat minor, D flat minor, and G flat minor. Oddballs, we have B minor, B flat minor, and E flat minor. Learn to play all the major triads. Practice as followed. Arpeggio, left hand, right hand. Solid triads, left, right, together. Our same format that we were doing in major. You may notice some of these letter names seem familiar but flipped. So our white, black, white majors were A, D, and E. Our white, white, white majors were C, F, and G, and these are flipped. Two of our black, white, blacks are the same, A flat and D flat. Two of our oddballs are the same, B and B flat. And then our other two were switched. G flat minor is a black, white, black. E flat minor is all black keys. So you might notice that some things are just mirrors of what they were before. All right, so let's go ahead and play our white, white, white minor keys, starting with A minor, all white keys. We're gonna play the left hand, right hand, left, right, together. Let's do it. A minor. D minor, all white keys. Let's play the white, black, white, C minor. F minor. And G minor. If you didn't play all of those now, just now, go ahead and play those. Let's do the black, white, black. A flat minor. So notice that you have two white keys to choose from in the middle of this. If you play the white key on the right, it's major. If you play the white key on the left, it's minor. So you have to choose the correct white key in the middle. All right, A flat minor. D flat minor, it's the same thing. You have two white keys to choose from in the middle. If you choose the white key on the right, it's major. If you choose the white key on the left, it's minor. So go ahead and choose the correct white key. And then G flat minor, you only have one white key that's actually in the middle. just now go ahead and play those and then our oddballs B minor so we have two white keys and a black key take your time and find the B minor triad now let's go ahead and play it notice that your entire hand has 
has to be up in the black key area to play this successfully. If you're trying to play out here and then you have to stick your thumb up like that, that's not going to be comfortable for either hand. So move the whole hand up so that you don't have to stretch or reach for the fingers that are going to be up on the black key. You're going to feel like a mirror image when you get to B flat minor, two black keys, and then a white key. you get to play all 12 minor triads. This is why I made this part of the video shorter because that's going to be a lot for assignments. It's just going to take a while every day. So make sure you're practicing that every day, just like we did with major triads. We're going to use these a lot all over the place. So fear not, they will become very comfortable and easy as you play them many, 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 many times. So make sure you practice that every day, all 12 of them. And then over on the left side, that's all for the keyboard geography and technique. That's enough for one video here. And then for exploration, creativity, improvisation, we're already going to use a couple of these. We're looking at number three down here, improvise a melody using two white, white, white minor triads. So I'm going to use D minor and E minor. So doing some, do something that uses two white, white, white minor triads. That's the only improv activity that's in the book. There's one over in my book. This is going to use a rhythm pattern. This is in duple meter. Go ahead and echo this rhythm pattern with your voice. Play it on one piano key. Improvise a gentle idea, knocking the rhythm pattern on any piano keys and then answer your rhythm pattern using the same, sorry, answer your idea using the same rhythm pattern, but change the character of the sound. So I'll give you an example and then I'll have you do this. So do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day, do. started with something gentle and then I went to something energetic, made an accented sound. You can change the character of the sound in other ways as well. So I went then from an, a separated sound the first time to a connected sound the second time. So decide how it is that you want to change the character of the sound. I could also go sounds that were very close together in register to far apart in register. So there are several different ways that you could change the character of the sound. All right, echo this rhythm pattern. Ready, chant. Do day, do day, do, do day, do day, do one key, do day, do day, do. Get ready to improvise. Ready, play. Do day, do day do and answer do day do day do if you weren't able to do the pattern and then the answer right away go ahead and back this up a little bit and do it again so you can play your rhythm pattern and then answer yourself without stopping 
stopping. Let's go ahead and do some review. Today we're looking at units three and four. So looking back at unit three, let's take a look at page nine in your book. So last time we did, in last time being in unit 12b, we did the articulation symbols. Today we're gonna do the pentascales and intervals. Hey look, this is like what we're doing at the end of the book, except this is just in the pentascale. So we're going to play major and minor pentascales um, you can do both. So let's do a major pentascale. We'll do E major. Go ahead and play that E major pentascale. Go ahead and play and sing intervals from every note of the major pentascale. Here we go, starting from Do. Do. go up when we're starting from Do. And then we have to go down. Now Mi. Go up first, then down. Starting from Fa. to do C minor. Go ahead and play that pentascale. La, ti, la, do, la, re, la, mi. Starting from T. Going up first. Ti, do, ti, re, ti, mi, ti, la. Starting from Do, do, re, do, mi, do, ti, do, la. Starting from re, re, mi, re, do, re, ti, re, la. And then for me. So that's what you're going to do every day. Pick one major and one minor pentascale and sing and play all of the intervals in that pentascale. For your project at the end of the book, last time we did major starting from Do and starting from Re for the entire major scale. And this is a little fast forward sneak preview here. We did Do, Re, Do, Mi, Do, Fa, Do, So, Do, La, Do, Ti, Do, Do. Because we have two do's, we can do them all going down. For all the rest of them, we won't have that many. Re, we did going up, and then there was just one down. starting from me and starting from fa in the full octave scale. This is for the assignment at the end of the book. And then from fa. on page 10. This time we're adding the tonal pattern information.
do day do play with me so for the tonal pattern we look just at the right hand let's go ahead and sing the melodic pattern so song we have a couple of different patterns we start with so me so me that's a melodic pattern the tonal pattern would be so me so me that stayed the same the second half of that would be the melodic pattern re, mi, fa, re, mi, do. so if we put that exactly that way without thinking about the deep structure it would sound like re, mi, fa, re, mi, do. Or we could hear re, mi, fa as a pattern going from re to fa, which would mean our deeper structure would be re, fa, re, mi, do. So let's think about it that way. The beginning then is our first phrase. So, mi, so, mi, re, fa, re, mi, do. The ending then is almost the same. So mi, so mi, re, fa, re, do. Let's go ahead and sing that whole thing together. Starting on so. So mi, so mi, re, fa, re, mi, do. So mi, so mi, re, fa, re, do. Let's go ahead and play that the same way that we just sang it. some kind of rhythm to that. you could do some those are just several different things those are by no means remotely exhaustive there are so many things you could do so go ahead and try to come up with some different ideas for what you can do with this tonal pattern go ahead and mark today's date by the tonal pattern and for the arpeggios we already did those tonic subdominant tonic arpeggios last time when do is g and la is e so you can go ahead and go on by those. You've got a lot of other things to do this week. So you may put a sticker or cross out number three on the front cover. Looking at unit four, I do want to take a brief moment to look at these damper pedal keyboard skills. So today, what I want to look at is right foot on right pedal without sound. So this is just practicing making no sound when you use the pedal. This is something that we have to keep reminding ourselves about. It's, it's, there's one step where you get away from that big click. And there's another step where you get away from this kind of sound. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not that kind of click, that kind of thud but it's still a pretty dramatic sound. So getting instead to this very, very quiet sound from the pedal. So go ahead and place the heel of the right foot on the floor, ball of the foot, make sure it's the ball of your foot, gently on the top of the right pedal. Notice how the foot feels resting on the pedal. Press the pedal all the way down and rest there. Feel that feeling of rest. Keep the heel on the floor. 
release the pedal by bringing the ball of the foot up until the pedal stops moving. Keep the heel on the floor. Practice this press, release, down, up. Press, release, down. The press, release, down, up movement. Press, release, up. Press, release, up. Now the release part is very helpful for reducing tension in your foot and leg. So that press and then release. That's where you're letting go of this tension that you might have accumulated in here or accumulated in your foot. So really focus this week or in these couple of weeks here on that feeling of release, of rest. You feel like you're resting lots of weight, lots of energy in that foot and that's what's keeping it down. Not that you're shoving it down for the front part of your foot or please not shoving it down with your toes. That can become very uncomfortable in a hurry. So that's what I'd like you to focus on with this. We're thinking a little bit more deeply about the technique of a damper pedal. Looking over at French folk song, all we're going to do today is review the melody and then our accompaniments because we have two different accompaniments for this song. So French folk song, triple meter, major tonality, do is G. Melody starts on I'm gonna go ahead and play the two versions. Do da dee do, here I go. Play the melody with me while I play both accompaniments. Ready, play. together. If you can, try hands together. Ready, play. Take your time putting hands together, especially if you're trying to think about leaning on the downbeat or if you're trying to add the pedal. so many details here. Then for the second accompaniment, this is more of a waltz type pattern, except we just have a couple of notes. Usually in a waltz we have an extra note, but we're not worrying about that today. So, do so so, ti so so. Definitely 
definitely make sure all of this is very light. We're going to think about our technique here again in this pattern. You want those two so's to be very light, feather light, pianissimo. Which is hard to do because it's in your thumb. It's going to want to go like this. triple love somebody think about how low in the key you can be to play that repeated note and then see if you can lean a little bit on do You're just practicing the melody, the two accompaniments. You're putting the hands together, trying to think about how to play that accompaniment in a musical way so that you're not hammering on any of the notes. And then maybe leaning a little bit on the do. So I feel like I'm letting go of a little more energy from my upper arm all the way on down. And I have a little more firmness in that pinky fingertip as I get there. That's French folk song. And then the tonic, dominant tonic of head joes when do is D and la is B. Um, the do is D should be very easy because we practiced all the tonic, dominant tonic of head joes. Make sure you sing the roots while you play this. Do, do. certainly sing the roots of each chord as we work on those this time. And that's all for today. So here are your assignments for this week. Number one, audio tracks 28 and 29. This is getting you ready for unit 14. Number two, keyboard skills. All the minor triads every day. Key, uh, number three, improv, page 41, left side, number three, just a melody using two white, white, white minor triads. Number four, review units three to four. And then number five, we talked about this earlier in this video. So this is our two tone tonal patterns on page 65. You're doing project three and project four. You begin with me and sing the intervals going up and then going down in the major scale and then begin with fa. Me. Me, fa me, me, so me. I think when I did it earlier I didn't come back to me because that wasn't the format for the pentagon. Before you do it, go ahead and play. And the one octave major scale. Now do the intervals from fa. Those are your projects for this time. 
Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 13B. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.